This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. G'day Tiger fans, welcome to Inside Tigerland, proudly brought to you by Metro Solar. We're going to get inside of the players' rec room and ask a few questions about recent retiree Chrissy Newman and see what the boys' favourite memories are about the old boy himself. Well Tiger fans, I'm here with young buck Corey Ellis. Corey, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a, a thank you to Chrissy Newman, a little bit of an insight. He's just recently retired. Now he's been mentoring you this year. How's he been going? Yeah, look, he's been pretty good. Um, look, he's got a bit of an old head on him, so I think he knows a few things, and uh, yeah, he's been kind enough to share a few things with me. Yeah, he's a pretty happy guy, um, but something that really annoys me, and he sort of rates himself a lot, is his ability to, um, with the yo-yo, and he thinks he's like got the best yo-yo skills at the club, yeah. So he, he's renowned for bringing a yo-yo in. What's his, what's his favourite trick? Yeah, he thinks he can rock the cradle more than anyone else at the club and um, yeah, it's kind of annoying because I'm actually better than him. He's not into all these new games of the PlayStation, he's yeah, into yeah. them old ones? Yeah, the old ones because you know, he's old and that but um, yeah, he doesn't really know what an app is yet but um, yeah, he lo loves the yo-yo, got the Coca-Cola yo-yo and all that sort of stuff. Well, Chris is one of those blokes that really rates his sing. Um, at my wedding, he made it mostly about him. Um, said to the band, that, that's it boys, I'll take it from here. Uh, got up and he's only really only got one song. It's uh, Last Kiss by Pearl Jam. Really likes to get that, that draw on that uh, Eddie Vedder does. And, um, but he can, I have actually, actually have heard him sing a little Creed song as well. They're very similar sort of blokes and that's probably his favorite band that he's got. Uh, in his time that I've been mates with him, that's the one that's always played in his car. Jack? Chris Newman recently retired, he's going to play out the year, a little bit selfish, other guys just sort of walk away when it's uh, their time, but he's going to hold someone out of the team, which is a little bit selfish, but I want you to tell the supporters a little bit about Newey and uh, maybe something they don't know about him. Well, one thing, uh, obviously, uh, Chris has been a great player and been here for a long time, Troy, um, but one thing a lot of people won't know about him is, and, and we certainly do know about him, is that he spends a ridiculous amount of time in the shower. like. He, like we would have like say one or two showers after training sessions here at the club. You put the thing that over the 16 years or 15 years he's been here, um, he would have had he would have had millions of showers. And to be perfectly honest, he's probably cost the club more in water than what he's uh and what he's made. <laughs> ah, don't, don't, don't get dogs. Chris and Newman retired this week. I want you to give us a bit of an insight for the fans out there. We we always see this model citizen, um, always talks extremely well in the media. He's a leader, former captain. What's something that the supporters might not know about Chrissy that really annoys the players? Yeah. Well, as you touched on, he looks like he's got his life together and that he's a pretty sort of sorted, straight down the line, neat character, but couldn't be further from the truth. I, I'm, I've been lucky enough to share a locker next to him for the last few years and um, he is by far the messiest player to share a locker next to. Constantly I'm moving his wet speedos from in front of my locker to across to his side. His, his bags sprawled out everywhere. His old saggy undies are everywhere. It's just, it's quite disgusting. Well, I'm joined by the man of the moment, Newey. Congratulations on a uh, distinguished career. Uh, we've still got a few more wins, hopefully, up our sleeve. But uh, what's it mean for you playing for the Richmond Footy Club and uh, having all the support from the boys? Uh, yeah, thanks, Troy. It, um, it's hard to talk serious when you've got a Galar over there throwing balls at you. But um, it's been uh, an absolute um, honour to, to play in the, in the Richmond Footy Club jumper and for so many years in particular. Um, but yeah, I'm just really looking forward to finishing off strong, mate, and um, hopefully we can notch up a few more wins yet. He's had a pretty big impact on your career, been a bit of a mentor for you. What, uh, what's something the supporters might not know about Chrissy Newman? Um, he's got bad hygiene. Bad hygiene? What, uh, in what regard? Oh, well, I'll share a locker close to him and he's a bit stinky at times. Bit of a slob. Grimes, he said exactly the same thing. Leaves them grey old undies lying around. Them. Yeah, um, I don't know what he's doing with his jock drawer, but they're pretty old setups. What are the boys going to miss most about Newey, do you reckon? Uh, oh, I think the biggest thing they'll miss is probably just... Uh, I think he's just a great friend to, to a lot of people. It's really hard in a, in, a, in a group of 44 blokes to be friends with everyone, uh, especially when you're uh, a lot older than most of the blokes at the footy club. But um, he's got this great ability to, to have a connection with every player and, in some sort of way. And I think, uh, I think we'll certainly miss that. Tell the supporters something that they might not know about Chris and Newman, or is there a, a pet hate that you've got of Newey's? Uh, 
I, I don't know if I can say a bad word about him, really. Are you serious? Every other player's had a bad word to say about him. What about uh, favourite footy moment? You've, you've obviously played a fair few games. Is there one that stands out that uh, really epitomises Chrissy Newman? Oh, yeah. I don't think we actually won the game, but um, we were really, we were really close. And um, Numo snuck forward, and it was probably four or five years ago. Numo snuck forward and kicked an important goal from outside 50 to put us in front, and he tugged the jumper, and that, yeah, that was pretty special. He's, he's renowned for that, and it gets the boys up and going, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I certainly love playing with him, and gonna miss it. There's got to be a favourite memory that you've got of Chrissy Newman um, wearing the Richmond jumper. Oh, I've got quite a few. Um, some of his uh, chase down tackles. Um, yeah, some, sometimes when he's put his head in the hole and um, come off with blood streaming from his face, um, when he's kicked an important goal for us and give us some of those. But probably my most important one was he um, celebrated his 100th game over in Frio, went back with the flight, got a punctured lung. Uh, we had our mid-season break, so we all went out and left Newey sitting in the hotel by himself. What about uh, a few blokes reckon that you rate your singing? Is this true? This is true. Like, straight off the bat, there's no denying. Yeah, well, there's no hiding it. I mean, when you when you're blessed with um, you know the when you're blessed with the the talents that, that I have and um, the versatility that I have with my voice, then you know I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to shy away from it. Obviously, on camera, I won't be producing it if that's going to be your next. Well, no, I'm not going to ask. I'll, I've got vision that I'll be able to give them, so that's fine. Oh, you can go to the vision, mate. I'm sure the vision will um, say the same. Now, uh, probably one positive that we're going to get out of it is our average age is going to come down to about 25 for the, for the team. But in all seriousness, you've been a great servant of the footy club. We thank you and uh, hopefully we've got a few more wins for you before the career's over with. Yeah, good on you, Troy. I really appreciate it. Well, Tiger fans, that's it for Inside Tigerland this week. Uh, we appreciate your support this year. Uh, there's a reason why we're the number one supporter club in the league and it's because of you. So make sure you continue the support for the next few weeks and get down there and give Chris and Newman the, the send-off that he deserves.